I think it might be time for some YouTubers to harden the. So hey y'all, this is going to be another one of those rants that I am certain is going to get a few feathers ruffled. And then of course I always say that and then I end up saying the shit anyway. Over the past few weeks I know there's been scandal about lawsuits and not just the Anna Scanlon vegan cheetah lawsuit. I've also been hearing YouTubers complaining because their content is being demonetized. I've also heard YouTubers complaining because their once millions of views per month have gone down by a few hundred thousand. And these are all things that to me smack of one dirty word, privilege. Now, I'm not one of those people who likes to throw the word privilege around. I know that when someone is experiencing a hardship, whether or not it's a hardship that I see as a big deal, for them, it's a big deal. It's something that affects their lives, it affects the way that they are able to operate in the world. If they've grown accustomed to a certain level of comfort, when that level of comfort is challenged, it can feel very traumatic. But you also can't blame other people for not taking it that seriously. So when Onision appears on his channel crying about the fact that he only got 50,000 views on a single video, or when someone who has felt that they can post and monetize any type of video has their content challenged, or when being accused of something makes it a little more difficult for you to get your cushy and privileged job, I reserve the right not to give a crap. Being a YouTube content creator doesn't require much. You need a way to record your videos and you need a way to post those videos to the internet. And so the fact that some people have translated those very simple steps into a very lucrative pastime should be seen as a privilege. I know lots of people who still don't have a smartphone. I know a lot of people who don't have a computer in their home, much less access to the internet. Sure, it sucks to have some someone accuse you of something that you didn't do. But we have to see things in perspective. For someone who maybe didn't have access already because of their sexual orientation or because of the color of their skin or for whatever reason people are barred entry into certain places, they might be wondering what the heck that person is talking about. I may not have access to a lot of resources, but I still live a relatively cushy and privileged life. And it sucks to have that challenged. But I certainly have to realize that there are a lot of people who have it a lot worse than I do. I also have to realize that there are certain things happening in the world that deserve more of my attention. I'm also not saying that people shouldn't talk about the things that are important to them. Of course you should. That's what a democratic platform like YouTube is all about. But it also means that you should be willing to suck it up when people comment on the things that you say. So yes, YouTube should be more transparent about their algorithms and what content is considered appropriate and not. And yes, YouTube should be a safe place to share one's interests and opinions. So for me personally, I hope that I continue to be grateful for whatever viewers and whatever subscribers I have on this channel and thankful for all of you for giving me your time and your energy and your great feedback. I hope that whatever it is that I'm going through that I'm still able to appreciate that there is someone else who might be going through a lot worse and that I might be able to stop in my tracks and consider that there might be another way of looking at even my own situation. I want to continue to believe that most people aren't evil or stupid and are just doing their best and that although YouTube can bring out the worst in some people, that it doesn't have to. I don't know, what do you think? That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself the way